guys, I am back today with another video which I'm really excited to film. I've kind of missed filming. I've been super, super, super busy and I haven't had any time to film. So today I'm going to sit down and film two videos. Well, that's four. Two videos. And the first one that I'm going to film is my Get Ready With Me for my birthday. And I've selected lots of my favourite makeup products and I'm going to put them all on my face and hope that it looks okay. Um, sorry there hasn't been many videos uploaded. I did film a video with the attention of putting it up, but when I was editing it, I just really didn't like it at all. And as much as I am all for posting videos that you just enjoy filming. As much as I enjoyed filming it, I didn't enjoy watching it back. And it was basically me trying all of the new products I bought. Um, but I really didn't like some of the products, and so therefore, it kind of, yeah, I just didn't really like it. So let's get on with this video and see what I'm going to put on my face. First thing that I am going to put on my face is the Nivea for, is the Nivea for Men um, Post Shave Balm. Um, it's got glycerin in it, um, which I've just put way too much on my face. Um, it's got glycerin in it, so when you put it on your face, it then acts as a really good primer because the foundation sticks to it. I think. So I'm just going to put this all over my face. I'm looking down here. I have a mirror down here which is kind of so I can see what I'm doing. So let's just get this onto my face. I've put way too much on so I have no idea what I'm going to do with it now. Just rub all of that in. I literally don't know what I'm going to do. So that is all rubbed in. Lovely. So I've got my jeans. So what's up in my makeup bag first? So first things first. My favourite favourite. Well it's actually not my favourite favourite. It's in my top five favourite foundations. It's the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation. Uh, it's an anti-fatigue and it's kind of, I kind of feel like it's got glitter in it, which it might do. Let's have a look. I don't know. In fact, this isn't even what I'm going to use first. I just remembered. I want to make this a really glowy kind of look. So I'm going to use the Little Real True Match Highlight Illuminator. And I'm going to blend that with this. Put the two together and hope that it gives me a nice glowy look. So I'm going to squeeze onto my hand. I love the colour of this. It's like a pinky, shiny, highlightery, glittery, nice look. And I'm going to squeeze one pump of that on and then I am going to kind of mix it together on my hand, like so. And then I'm going to dab it onto my face. Um, it's probably, I can't remember what shade this is. I think it's like the, the palest of pale shades because I am super pale. And I'm going to use my beauty blender, which is really clean, um, which is slightly damp. And I'm going to put that onto my face. I never know which is quite the right technique for using my beauty, beauty, beauty blender. Um, I just kind of dab and dab and hope for the best. I've also never mixed these two together before, so hopefully it uh, it goes all right. Put down my nose. How we looking? Mmm, I actually really like it. Dab, 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 dab. I actually think this foundation is a little bit pale. Um, even though it's like I've not had any sun on my face. I do actually think it has made me very, very pale. So we will have to add in some bronzer. Lots and lots of bronzer. But it certainly added a glow to my face. Yep. My face is done and I am going to add some what else have we got in my basket. Concealer. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Magique. I really like this concealer. I don't really like the twisty thing, but I, I do actually like the concealer. So, ah, I'm going to dab this. That's probably way too much. This is very yellowy, um, but I like how it blends out and it gets rid of all of the under the eyes and any, any spots that don't get covered from my foundation. I wish I could turn the light down slightly because they are really bright and I just feel like I'm really, really pale and my hair is a very strange colour. Stop there. I literally look like a ghost. And I wish it was the lighting that was uh, making me look like a ghost, but I am a ghost in general. I really want to um, invest in one of those mini beauty blenders um, for my concealer, so let me know which ones are the best ones for you. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'm going to go for the very, very subtle, less is more approach, I think. I kind of like to um, go down here, like and follow the, the hollows of my cheeks and my face. Let's do some down with those. Just make my nose a bit skinnier. And in the forehead, we're going to add some bronzer in, so it's not too bad, but I like to, to add the colour to my face. It's probably going to be way too much. Not too much, probably. We can blend it out with my beauty blender in a minute. I 
actually really, really like the... Oh, see, the hairs just fall out. I really like the consistency of the powderness because it's so easy to just blend. It really is so easy. My face colour looks green. Maybe some down at my chin. Let's get my beauty blender back to sort out any of the bits that didn't quite go to plan. Anyway, why is there a square on my face? So, how have I been filming for 10 minutes already? Honestly. So, that is the contour done. I'm going to use the Laura Gella uh, Bronze and Brighton for fair skin. It's definitely me. And I'm going to use a brush that is way too big for the pot. So, let's get that all over my brush. <sighs> Nearly had it. Well done, safe. And let's, let's give my face a little bit of warmth. very very fair skin like me uh, what what bronzer do you use i wish my mirror would balance here like this oh it does no it doesn't <laughs> at least it fell towards me and not the other way around i really love this laura gala bronzer i'm gonna have to get the big one of this i think i don't really normally use it um so i saw it in my collection and it's probably way too dark now on that side and uh Square keeps following my face. Ooh, it's really annoying. Okay, so for my under eye, I'm going to use the other side of this. And I'm going to use my little fluffy brush. Uh, I really like this because it is really brightening. So I've got some on the brush. Let's see. Kind of really adds in brightness. I need to brighten my face because it's white anyway. Anyway, so that is done. Let's go to eyes now. So I'm going to go for an orangey, bronzy kind of look. I'm going to use three products for that. I'm going to use the NYC uh, New York Colours Individual Eyes Palette. Um, but I'm only going to use this one. Then I'm going to also use Makeup Obsession Eyeshadow in E120 Rich. This one, and I'm going to use my MAC Pigment in the shade Melon. This is like my go-to favourite eyeshadow. Um, so I am going to use the Makeup Obsession colour first. Ow! as my transition colour, actually, yes I am, I'm going to go all out, because even though it is slightly so pigmented, um, but it's kind of, it is shimmery, maybe I shouldn't use it as like the transition, no, let's, you know what, let's just break all the rules, let's just go for it, so I'm going to use a tiny 217 brush, and let's hope for the best, I am going to use a little mirror, uh, or well, this is a big mirror, so let's move this into my crease, I literally love this eye look, it is one, of my favourites. So I'm literally going to spend a nice amount of time really working. Should I zoom in a bit so you can actually see? Oh, 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 that's quite close. So I can really work the shimmer. I really like, um, I think that this colour is really good for people with blue eyes. Yeah, what more can I say? I will try not to go. So, crease done. Actually, anyone else see my glasses just get this stupid thing here? It's so annoying. Alright, so, I'm happy with that. I'm going to get that. Whoa, it's alive. Let's use this now. I'm going to use the same brush. But I'm going to do it all over my lips now. It's pretty much the same colour, it's just slightly lighter. Ever so slightly lighter. So that is the basis of the eyeshadow look. And then I'm just going to get a flat brush. Well, that was very washed out and bright. And I'm going to get, I shake this so close up. And I'm going to just take whatever is in the lid because this is like, it literally lasts forever. That's why I love pigments so much. I'm just going to. Pat it onto my eyelids. So it's kind of not really even that smoky because it is pretty much all the same colour. But let's see if that is enough. Yep, I think that's enough. I'm happy with that. I don't want it to take up too much time. I won't have that much time tomorrow night when I get seen back out. So you can see. Before look. Zoom back out like that. But, so that is done. What is next? Let's do. I'm not going to do. I was going to do eyeliner, but I'm not. 
So now let's go on to highlight. I am going to be using the Emuray Luxe Strobe and Glow Highlight Cream. This, if you haven't used this, where have you been? That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to use a little stippling brush to put this on to your eye cheekbones. Have to kind of put it away to each other. thicker than this one. Let's just not even go there because that's not, not even the lid so far is the lid there. Okie okay, dokie. Okay, okay. Next up, let's do mascara. I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love this mascara. I also love the fact, you know, I also love it when it's better. No, I love it when it's dried up basically. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and then put some lip back on. Lips, then we're done. I hope it's only 6 o'clock. I run into my phone at 6 o'clock each day to uh, see if the Sakani Jellies have had their baby. Is anyone else as excited as I am? Let's come on both sides twice. Um, I never use fake eyelashes, like, at all. So yeah, I uh, rely on coats and coats of mascara. I just, if you've never used this mascara, you really should. I'm quite interested to try the waterproof one because apparently it is good but I, the only thing I don't like about waterproof ones is how hard it is to take off which is kind of the point I suppose but Oh look I've just got that completely under my eye No problems Who cares? I do because you can really see it I actually think this is a little bit too dried now. I have had it for a good while. That is the finished eye look. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to uh, let's get a little tiny brush. Hmm. Foundation. Wanting. Let's get rid of that bit. Okay. So we are nearly done. I really like this makeup look actually. I love having orange eyeshadow. Let's do the lips. So I'm going to a really bold lip. My favourite lip colour is this very lip colour. This is the New Look Matte Velvet Lipstick Brown. And it's one of my favourites. So let's just rub all the foundation off. Let's apply the lip stuff. I smashed it already. Okay, this is 
is way too dark, I think. I think it's just the lights, but I love this colour. And I've lost the lid, damn it. This is sorry. Oh, this is in the shade Heather, apparently. So, let's zoom out a little bit. Take the... So, as you can see, I never do anything with my hair. So, I'll probably brush it before I go out tomorrow. So, this is my finished birthday makeup look. I love the orange eyes and I love the dark lips. I just love how everything's gone. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And let me know, yeah, just let me know what your favourite makeup product is. Um, and tweet me your latest video or your latest post or just tweet me something about you. I love getting to know people on Twitter. Um, my Twitter link is show, show, my Twitter link is show, my Twitter link is social influence, but without the I, so it's S-O-C-I-A-L-N-F-L-U-E-N-C and two E's. You'll find it. Um, yeah, and I hope to see you very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.